everybody and welcome back to Crochet College, or if this is your first time, welcome. My name is Nia, and in this video, we are going to be looking into the Wool and the Gang Ra Ra Raffia Paper Yarn. I purchased this yarn as a part of a larger order, which was the first time I've ever ordered from Wool and the Gang. Alright, I have a link down below in the description box to that video if you want to check it out. There's tons of awesome yarn that I purchased from them. This yarn is in the Riviera Blue, however there were tons of colors available on their website. It is a 100% paper yarn made in Taiwan. This yarn came in 100 grams, and for that 100 grams you get 273 yards of it. And it came in this tube. I guess it's kind of a cake, but I mean, it's you can get your whole finger completely through that. It is a tube of yarn which is interesting to me. I've never really purchased yarn this way before. I've also never purchased paper yarn before, so this is the first time I'm ever engaging with it. They recommend on their website that you use a crochet hook for this, and even on here on the skein, it says a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. They think that it'll take 16 stitches and 19 rows to get a four inch by four inch square. Of course, we're going to put that to the test. And this is a yarn that is hand wash, lay flat to dry. Personally, I don't know that I would even hand wash it. I would probably just want to wipe it clean. Um, and for those reasons, I would probably do exactly what they recommend be done on their website, which is use this yarn to create a summer hat or a bag or a basket, something like that that doesn't really need to be washed too often, but could still look good. I think one benefit to this yarn is that they have it in a lot of colors. So if you do come up with something that you can make very well with it, you are going to be in a good position to make a lot of different colors of it. For example, if you do make a sun hat or a basket that you want to sell, you can have a lot of variety to your, your store. This yarn came a lot neater than it is now. I was kind of pulling at it a little bit to, to get a feel for how it feels. And it does feel very similar to tissue paper. It feels a little bit stronger than tissue paper does, like what you would wrap a present in, but it's a very light, smooth, crinkly feeling. So all that said, I wanna get into working up a swatch of this to make sure that they recommended a, a reasonable hook size to work with this yarn and try to start to see how this yarn feels as I work it up. Now the trick is going to be figuring out how to open it, and my instincts are just to pull it, but I don't want to do that. I feel like there's a knot somewhere in there. Hmm. Yep, there's a, oh, there's a knot. So in here, I wonder if I should cut it, because I see the knot. So they had that thing that was wrapped around it just knotted, which makes me think this one, yep, this one's also knotted around it. And now I'm left with finding the end, which it's already started to come out like a streamer. Oh, and there's another knot on it, which is this the starting point or is it just a tied part? Was the yarn ripped? Oh man, guys, I'd like to center pull if that's possible. It looks like it might be possible. Oh, it is possible. Okay. So I want to center pull. I am going to attempt to just fix this because I've made yarn spaghetti so easily with this yarn. Okay. It's probably because I was playing with it before. I opened it. I think I'm going to take a piece of tape and just tape the outside. Oh my gosh. It's just falling apart. If I can find like the one end, I can't. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is crazy. Okay. I probably did this wrong. This is 100% got to be user error. I have this little masking tape. It's not really mine. It's my boyfriend's, so hopefully he doesn't mind me using it. This is the only tape I could find in such a panic. And it's light enough because it's a masking tape that hopefully it won't ruin anything on me with the yarn. But oh my goodness. All right, so let that be a lesson. Uh, pull it from the center, unless you have like a spool to put it on, and tie, and don't take off this. That paper wrapping around it might have been holding things together. This definitely had to be user error because I really didn't know what I was doing. So I don't want to fault the company for that, but at the same time, it it 
became a disaster very fast. All right, so I've got this now taped up yarn tube because that was just a crazy stressful situation. Let me put this back. Okay, so I will say I wasn't completely sure how to go about unwinding this yarn or start pulling this yarn. So I'm not going to completely blame Wool and the Gang, but I don't think that was completely my fault either because I just so happen to be a center puller. A lot of people are not. So it's worth noting that if you take off their wrapper and you start trying to find the end, things are just going to come undone real fast for you. So that said, let's work up a swatch of this yarn and see what happens. So I followed that recommendation of 16 stitches by 19 rows, which I can only assume is for crochet because there's no knitting needle recommendation. I used their 4.5 millimeter crochet hook recommendation, and this is what I got. This sample is almost six inches, more like five and three quarters, by just about six and three quarters inches long. So I know I have a looser tension on my hook, but this is still a little bit, a little bit out there to think that you could get 16 stitches by 19 rows into four inches using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. For me, the gauge to hit four inches is just about 12 stitches across and 11 rows high to get that four inch by four inch square. But granted, everybody's tension is a little bit different and that's why it's important to check your gauge before you jump into a project. Uh, this yarn feels almost like one of those finger traps that you used to get at um, like the arcade as a kid. And even though the yarn itself feels very similar to tissue paper, the end product feels almost like a basket. It's very rough. It's, it's not a soft feeling. Um, using the 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, I found myself getting a very loose, pliable material or bendable, even a little bit stretchy. So if I was going to make a sun hat out of this, I probably would go down to maybe a three and a half um, millimeter crochet hook or maybe even a two and a half because I think this could look really good if you created a nice strong fabric where the shaping really showed. I don't love this yarn, but there's probably a learning curve that goes along with it um, that I don't have yet. So I think I'll need to practice with it. If I'm ever going to make a big project with this yarn, I'm definitely going to bandage my finger or maybe wear a pair of gloves while I'm crocheting because I wrap the yarn like this where it's just rolling over my pointer finger and I definitely felt it starting to get a little chapped here from this material rubbing against it. So taking all of that into account and the fact that it exploded on me when I tried to open the yarn to figure out how I can work it. I'm only going to give this yarn a five. It's not the worst. If you were going to get a paper yarn, I think you expect it to be a little rougher. So it does meet the expectation there, but I just don't think this yarn is really for me. Maybe if I can get a good sun, sun pattern, like sun hat pattern or a really nice basket pattern. I could see this working really well. Actually, I think if you're a basket weaver, this might be an amazing material to work with because you get it all in one long strip. I don't know if it's cheaper or more expensive compared to the fibers you usually work with, but a weaver, this could be really nice for. Crocheting, I don't know that it really speaks volumes to me personally. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel so you'll be one of the first to know when I come out with a new video, tutorial, or pattern. As always, thank you guys for crocheting with me and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.